trying to obtain access, uh, sometimes the where the wire goes will lead you astray in terms of whether you can uh, get through an occlusion. And you can see here, this looks like a relatively benign uh, venogram. Uh, we get access with a micropuncture set up and we advance the wire, but the wire stops, stops dead. And so we push on the wire a bit and nothing happens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ad advance the micropuncture dilator uh, with the catheter over the wire. And so we're doing that here. And then once we get the micropuncture uh, system in, we'll take the wire out and we'll hook it up to a contrast injection system. So it's the micropuncture catheter attached to the contrast injection system. And then we inject contrast. And you'll notice that if you just focus on this area, that uh, the lo it looks like there's a total occlusion and it's not going anywhere. But if you pay attention down in here, uh, you can see that there's contrast uh, following another route. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to, this is the tip of the, of the micropuncture catheter. We're going to gradually back that up to the point where uh, we can see if we can get into the other channel. And so we went, as we back up, we're injecting carefully, carefully, advance the wire, not quite there yet, back up a little more, uh, and now the wire goes down. So if you just followed the wire, you'd say that this was a total occlusion, you can't get through. But by using contrast, you can see that you get through. So the next step um, was to exchange the wire that we had down for uh, an AMPLATS, an 035 AMPLATS extra stiff wire um, using a braided hydrophilic catheter. And now we're advancing uh, a balloon over the wire. And you can see how, how we're advancing this. There's a fair amount of resistance. Urgh. You can give it a push there. So if you didn't, if this was just a glide wire, you may not have enough support to advance the balloon. So uh, this is actually an older case. So we're still using the six millimeter balloon here. Um, we've pretty much gone to nine millimeter as a standard balloon. And you do your first inflation again at the innominate SCC junction. And then you do a head to tail overlap until you see the tail of the balloon in the pocket. And it's really important that you do that last inflation, although it does cause some anxiety uh, if patients don't bleed to death, I promise.